Hey, welcome back to Inside the Vandals. Well, the Idaho soccer team is 7-0 in conference play right now after getting a win at home and a win on the road. This past weekend, our own Agata Trujillo has a recap of the team's great weekend. Idaho soccer continues to roll. After a successful weekend, Idaho extends their conference win streak to 7-0. It started Friday at Guy Wicks Field. Idaho's first opponent would be Southern Utah, as Idaho dominated from beginning to end. It took 30 minutes for the Vandals to score their first goal, and it was a non-stop after that. Kevita Baton scored the first, finishing a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Jocelyn Dax sent the ball across from the corner to find Alyssa Lloyd, who handled the rest, scoring the second goal in the 55th minute. Josie Dax was involved in the third goal as well, as she sent a long throw to Regan Quigley, who passed the ball to Olivia Begerly to give Idaho the lead at 3-0. Alexis Schlostrek scored the last goal from the penalty spot in the 88th minute. Dax was an important part of the Vandal win, leading the team with three assists. I have my long throws. I make sure that I'm seeing the person, seeing my options, then I knew Ray could stand her up and take her on. And once she crossed that, I was like, I, I know my teammates, they can do that. Uh, Josie did an excellent job. I mean, obviously her throws are always dangerous, which is a huge weapon of ours, but obviously some of the crosses that she put in the box uh, to get us the opportunities was excellent. So really proud of her uh, and what she brings to us because she has an attacking mentality uh, out of the back, which is, is really helpful and uh, was really useful today. And, and uh, you know, I'm just glad we were able to get on the end of some of our crosses and, and put some away. Not only Dax was an essential part on the win, Amanda Porner had an incredible game on her seventh shutout of the season and now holds the school record for shutouts in one season. And then for our defense to get another shutout, uh, very, very proud of the whole team and, and they did an excellent job. But it starts with our defense. Uh, our defense is uh, what helps us obviously dictate the attack and they did a great job of that. The Vandals traveled on Sunday to Northern Arizona and Idaho ended the weekend with a 4-1 win over the Lumberjacks to extend their conference win streak to 7-0. Idaho will travel this week to play North Dakota and Northern Colorado on Sunday. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Agatha Trujillo, Go Vandals! Or in my country, Arriba Vandals! Hey, thanks, Agata, for that piece. Nice to have uh, some European perspective on the beautiful game, of course. In, European, in Europe, it's known as, as football. Of course, we now move on to volleyball, where the volleyball team has put together four straight wins. Wednesday Walton with the breakdown. That's right, Tom. That's four consecutive wins for the Idaho Vandal volleyball team, and it started two weeks ago right here at home at Memorial Gym. After a rocky start to the conference, the Idaho Vandals won two at home, but it wasn't easy. In the home opener against Portland State, the Vandals won in five sets. This would be their first five-set victory since November of 2014. The Vandals started out their conference play one and three before taking on Portland State at Memorial Gym. The Vandals and Vikings went back and forth the first three games, but Idaho ultimately came in with the hardest punches, winning in the fourth and fifth sets. Redshirt freshman Kayla Straw had a fierce offensive game, matching her personal best of 13 kills in a game. You know, Kayla had, you know, she came in at NAU and did a great job, and she came in off the bench at Eastern and, you know, had big numbers, and then again tonight, and so she's slowly proving that she can make those big plays. She wants to block, she wants to be in the game, and so, you know, she's definitely pushing some players right now, and she's doing a great job creating some things for herself. The Vandals didn't look as strong heading into their second game against Sacramento State as they found themselves down 10-0 before they were able to rally and put points back on the board. Despite the rocky start, Idaho came back with another five-set victory to close their conference home opener. I think it's huge. We had great numbers tonight, and this is where our team's going to keep building. You know, if we can keep gaining confidence and we can keep dealing with a little bit of adversity in these matches, it's going to be This good. was a huge weekend for us, and I think that could set us apart when it comes down to the end. We just have to keep pushing right now, though. You know, it's one weekend at a time, one match at a time. Keep these players healthy and, you know, see what we can do. With their back-to-back -back wins here at Memorial Gym, the Idaho Vandal volleyball team went on the road and took that momentum across the border into Montana, defeating Montana State and University of Montana. Jenna Ellis, a senior libero on the team, broke the school record for career digs. They go on the road this week to take on Idaho State and Weber State. I'm Lindsay Walton reporting for Inside the Vandals. Three, two, one.
Hey, thanks Wednesday for that piece right there. Well, now it's time for Campus Connections as we take a look at the Idaho Marching Band as they prepare for homecoming. See, they're preparing right now. They apparently never sleep. A Caitlin Maher with the story. Since 2012, the Vandal Marching Band has had an element of flair to their homecoming shows. From chairs to bins and frisbees and drum heads. And this year, it's back to the 80s. Well, I'm trying to find things that would keep me entertained and then also try to hit all kinds of different age groups and levels of our audience. You know, we're the students band, so we want to hit the students, but we want to hit all different generations of alumni. So we're pulling things from 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Done a lot of 80s recently, and then, uh, but also brand new stuff as well. When Spencer took over as director in 2011, he made it his goal to shake up the halftime shows with music from the 80s and now to hit every member of the Vandal audience. Places that I've worked, in fact, I think these students work the hardest. It's, it's, it's not as difficult as you would think. So there's a huge kind of buy-in from the students. It's very peer-run, very student-run, um, and they take a lot of pride. I mean, it's a family. Spencer says that it's a challenge to keep the band focused on the production of a new halftime show, but that the University of Idaho students are hardworking with grit and passion, along with wanting to be part of something new and different. They finalized the current show for the homecoming game in late September, and the band has been hard at work ever since to put it together on the field. So every homecoming show, we've got like a gag, right? And it's like we're either smacking bins or chairs or we're throwing frisbees or drum heads, and now we've got this hammered in. So there's always some sort of like goofy surprise that the band throws down. The Vandal Marching Band puts together very intricate moves and with 200 plus students it's amazing to see what they can do. The Vandal Marching Band achieves great things with greater focus and precision during their rehearsals and when they take the field this Saturday for their halftime performance it is sure to excite everyone in the stands. I'm Caitlin Maher for Inside the Vandals. Hey, well, that'll do it for this week's edition of Inside the Vandals. Thanks so much for taking the time and tuning in. Make sure to come back next week as we'll be looking back on the Vandals' homecoming game versus Louisiana Monroe. We'll also be looking ahead as the Vandals will be on the road at New Mexico State. As always, make sure to like us on Facebook, give us a follow on Twitter, and we'll see you next time.